Elia Stefanescu for GMP1 TV here with Daniel Torres, KSW champion, as we can see. Um, yeah, we are here at EMC, number seven in Germany, and uh, one of your guys was fighting here. Um, give us your take, because it was a draw later on and everybody was a little bit going left and right. He win the fight, he win the first round, the second round he lost, but the third round he win for sure. So do you think something could be changed later on or uh, will it stay a draw? Have you heard something? Um, we make now one protest, one formal protest and now we will get the win in the score in the end. Yeah, talking about wins, you got a lot of wins lately. Saladin Panas was your last opponent, you knocked him out and uh, won that beautiful title. Um, give us a little recap, so to speak. It wasn't yesterday, I know, but um, what do you remember from that fight and how uh, satisfied are you to have this gold? Uh, that it was the goal after so much work, after uh, a long time of training, a uh, long time of that life of a uh, fighter. And this payoff is one time, you know, I get a lot of money, I get my, my belt, you know, I marry my wife now and uh, build my family. For me, I did with that sport everything uh, for make my family. The pinnacle of your career so far. Um, what does the future bring? I think Saladin Parnas was talking. He wants a rematch. Max Koga, another fighter from Germany, that you had a very close fight. You won that fight. He was um, saying that he thinks he won that fight. Do you think um, a rematch with one of those guys could be in the future for you? Or do you have something else on your mind? Uh, the next fight I would like to fight with is Saladin. Um, Koga, I hope he can get more wins and then fight me again because I want one win clean over him. Um, you just talked about Yasmin Katsiwe, your wife. Um, what changed for you? You're living now in Austria, as I've heard, um, together training there and so on. Um, what has changed if you look back one year ago and compare it with now? You know, I was in Brazil and I come to fight in Poland, to in KCW, and I meet her. And then since that day, I, uh, when I meet her, we was together. And then we win the fight uh, over Saladin, and then everything grow, you know, in, in the career. But one year ago, we already training that focus, in that, um, in that rhythm. And then I changed my, my life to... to Austria and that I do that work every day with train. I have a good guys beside me who push me every time and my, and my wife supports me in that sport. I think we spend too much time inside the gym and this make our uh, relation strong, you know, and that's it. It was a good way to, to change to Austria and stay with her and train there and make that work with my friends, with my team. Um, what time do you give yourself for your next fight? How many months? When do you think you will be back in the cage against maybe one of those opponents you told us? Mm -hmm. um, I think November. November we will fight one of the two, but, or, but more sure Saladin because he had that last fight against Philip Page, who win with good um, submission. And then we will fight in November. Yeah, the last thing I want to say, I've heard that you speak German better and better so far, so I hope next time when we talk, maybe we can do it in uh, German. Ich liebe in Austria, ich wohne in Enz, <laughs> ich bin Daniel Torres, A1. <laughs> Great, thank you so much, thank you. stay healthy and then we hope to see you in the end of, uh, at the end of the year, back in action. Thank you.